Today we will be recreating this logo, the drop zone used in Sweden by a software company and designed by 1910 Design and Communication. Let's jump right into Illustrator. On the left hand side you are seeing the original logo, on the right hand side you are seeing the logo that I recreated. Let's get started, go to File new create a new document i like to use print uh, landscape mode go to file place if you want to use the original logo if you don't that is totally fine click the letter s to activate your scale tool and i scaled it 300 percent uniformly rename this logo create a new layer on top of that let's use our rectangle tool and we're going to create a rectangle from this anchor and hold shift as you create make sure it hits that right intersection as you can see i'm going to change this color i'm going to flip the fill and the stroke i'm going to give it a stroke aligned to the inside and the stroke will be a 12 point stroke so now we have our square with a 12 point stroke aligned to the inside use the direct selection tool or click the letter a to activate it hold and drag on the right two sides and you're going to curve these corners go to object expand appearance and clicking on this inside anchor point just that one by itself you are going to curve that corner select your rectangle tool again from the bottom of this inside shape hold shift and drag as you make another square this time let it align to the right side as well flip or swap the fill and the stroke again align the stroke to the inside give it a 12 point stroke this time you're going to select the top left anchor point with your direct selection tool you hold shift to select this anchor point and hold shift select this anchor point and curve those we're going to do that one more time with our rectangle tool on the very inside anchor point hold shift as you drag out make sure your stroke is set to 12 to the inside hit your letter a to activate your direct selection tool click on the outside anchor points Select all by dragging or clicking Control A. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, Object, Compound Path, Release, Object, Compound Path, Make. And there is our logo. You can recolor it now. Awesome. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you have any more logos that i can recreate make sure you like subscribe comment tell a friend as always i hope you learned something new today see you guys next time